Following the release of the full NOAPA 21 animated overview, we now present extensions to the project, which further underscore the continent-wide water management approach proposed by NOAPA 21. Here we present the Oregon-California extension, originally designed by Hal Cooper in Washington State. But first, let's take a look at the continent's current water cycle. Easterly migration of moist air evaporated from the Pacific Ocean contributes to very heavy precipitation along the cold, higher elevations of the Alaskan and British Columbian coasts, extending further down to the coastal mountains of Oregon. These regions receive the major portion of their annual moisture during the winter season, while the inverse is true for the interior regions. When high pressure ridges form near the west coast, even more water is diverted to Canada and Alaska, while at the same time contributing to droughts in the west, underscoring the need for continental scale water management. With a virtually constant input of solar energy to drive the ocean evaporation, a constantly replenishable water source is available. Of the approximately 2,200 million acre-feet of annual precipitation in Alaska, Yukon, and British Columbia, 1,300 million acre-feet is runoff. While the majority of this runoff is unused, the mere 32 million acre-feet of mean annual discharge of the main river basins of the U.S. Southwest is almost 100% in use. Of the total river basins in Alaska, British Columbia, and the Yukon, the Nawapa 21 catchment area encompasses rivers which have an annual runoff of 630 million acre-feet a year. Of this, the Nawapa 21 collection systems plan to redirect 22%, or 138 million acre-feet, for hydropower generation and the distribution of water to the southwest United States and northern Mexico. This 138 million acre-feet of water would thus be about 11% of the runoff of Alaska, British Columbia, and the Yukon. An estimated 49 million acre-feet is to be used for power generation at the pumping stations in British Columbia and Idaho, with a slight modification to the original plan's power requirements for pump lifting, the Nawapa 21 plan could include an extension, originally designed by engineer Hal Cooper of Cooper Consulting Company, the Oregon-California extension. By either increasing the collection of that total runoff by 1%, or by utilizing nuclear power instead of hydropower generation at these locations, 15 million acre-feet could be freed up and added to the 60 million acre-feet which is pumped into the Rocky Mountain Trench each year, and then be used to feed the Oregon-California extension via the Columbia River. Here is a detailed tour of the proposal. The additional 10 to 15 million acre-feet flowing down the Columbia River will increase the hydroelectric capacity of the Grand Coulee Dam and other smaller dams under the Bonneville Power Administration. When these 10 to 15 million acre-feet reach the Dalles Dam, they will be pumped up a series of staged reservoirs on the Deschutes River, bringing the waters up onto the Columbia Basin before then being taken by canal over to a large storage facility at the Prineville Reservoir near Prineville, Oregon. Taken south by canal, the water will be brought to a distribution reservoir at Silver Lake, southeast of Bend, Oregon. These 10 to 15 million acre-feet of fresh water can then be diverted west through a 20-mile tunnel under the Cascades to the headwaters of the Klamath River, refilling its depleted waters and reviving its fishing industry all the way out to the Pacific. From Silver Lake, water can also be taken by canal east across the Oregon deserts replenishing and creating anew several reservoirs such as Harney Lake and the previous dry Turnbull Lake near Burns Junction, before then heading south down the Oahe River to the Snake River in West Idaho to restore needed groundwaters and other waters all the way out to the Tri-Cities area of Washington State. From Silver Lake to the south, water will flow by canal into Goose Lake 
and then into both the Eagle Reservoir system and down the Pitt River into the Shasta Lake system north of Redding, refurbishing the existing water supplies of Northern California for fishing, farming, and other needs of the population. The most extended route of the project takes waters from Goose Lake through a 12-mile tunnel under the Warner Mountains, refilling the currently dry lake beds near Cedarville, California. These waters are then taken by canal into Pyramid Lake, northeast of Reno, Nevada, before flowing further south into Walker Lake. A long tunnel will then take the water up into Mono Lake on the eastern side of the Sierra Nevada Mountains where water can be transferred up into Lake Crowley, a new storage reservoir at the headwaters of the Owens River. With renewed waters flowing down the Owens River, Lake Owens and the previous agriculture in the Owens Valley will be restored. On the last leg of the project, sufficient water will be brought by canal to replenish Lake Cohen and Lake Rosemond, northeast of Los Angeles. Here, an additional canal can be constructed to connect the Nawapa 21 waters brought into Death Valley. With this Oregon-California extension to Nawapa 21, a significant addition to the greening of the Great American Desert and the creation of additional rains across this area will be made, not to mention the large increase in the livelihood of the people of this region. <laughs>